Alright, so I know I can keep a holding tank of water hot using HHO, but my goal now is to see if I can make an on-demand water heater. I had one design where I made, but it was way too high pressure, it wasn't safe, so, and it actually cost a lot of money to build, so I decided to go another route and start right from scratch with the most crude designs we can and see what the cheapest on-demand hot water system we could make is. So I started out with the smallest diameter pipe possible, the smallest flow, and the water coming out of the tap right now in Canada is very cold. It's actually 44 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. So as you can see, 44 degrees is very cold. So this is what we started with, just a straight small pipe diameter. Two torch tips are going to be hitting the copper in two different spots. Nothing more complicated than that, and just see what the base amount of heat we can get is. So I found the highest I could get with those two torch tips just touching on the copper was 72 degrees, something like that around that area. And actually I haven't been able to get any higher using any other crude crude systems right now as you'll see. So there's a picture of the two torch tips lit actually hitting the copper. Using this setup I couldn't get it to get more than between 25 and 30 degrees raise in temperature. And uh, pretty consistently too no matter where what I did, how I shaped it, how much closer I put it to the copper, um, that's all I could get was between 25 and 30 degrees. So I decided to take it a step further and see if I could get any more heat by coiling all the copper and loops tight together keep everything compact and built this little makeshift insulator out of a dryer duct and you'll see there I made a little insulator it's insulation on the top, aluminum cap on the bottom, just a cheap thing and I put the two torch tips close to the copper like I did before and I wanted to see if I could get more than 72 or 73 degrees with this system So there you can see it running with the double torch tip and it's pretty far away but I moved it even closer than what you see there and I still could not get more than 72 or 73 degrees even with that little cheap dryer insulated box I put on top. So since I wasn't gaining any temperature increase like this I went to another step I tried to get more surface area on the copper pipe. So. I took the same copper pipe and took a solid copper wire and wrapped it tight around the pipe. And then I took a larger copper pipe and slid that over top of that with a hole cut out for a torch to enter the uh, flame in. And before doing that on each end of the copper wire I put heat sink compounds to transfer the heat from the copper wire to the copper tubing. Slid the larger copper piece over top and then you'll see I crimp both ends and that's where I'm at right now. So I've got this system, I'm just going to make a cheap insulator around that to, so it doesn't lose the heat and then the torch is going to hit right in that hole and we're going to see what kind of results I can get. So that's where I'm at now on my quest for the cheapest, crudest hot water on demand system that you can make out of HHO. And oh yeah, I put a stainless steel braided hose on my torch just so they don't have to worry about any flying ambers breaking through the plastic. And I still got the flashback arrestor that I always use. I want to show you guys something I've been waiting forever to come across. This is a motor out of a Whirlpool Cabrio, also known as a Kenmore Oasis, also known as a Maytag Bravo. But the amazing thing about this motor is check this out. Those are all magnets on the outer edge being cut by 90 degrees by these copper coils which if you know what electricity is all about you'll know that that creates electricity when you cut a magnetic field at 90 degrees with a copper coil you actually create electricity so you probably see why I'm excited about this if you spin this bottom part and leave this in place we're gonna be actually be able to make this an electrical generator of some sort so we'll see in future experiments what this will do